Hi, my name is Wendy Finkley. I'm the Director of Programs for Arts for All Florida, and welcome to Spotlight on Art. This is our virtual community art class program that gives us the chance to highlight the many amazing teaching artists that we have throughout the state of Florida that we get to work with every day. They're going to show you art projects that you can work on at now or at another time right from the comfort of your home. I'd like to remind you that this program is closed captioned and by clicking on the two C's at the bottom of your screen, you'll be able to turn it on or off, whatever is to your liking. So now it's with great pleasure I introduce to you Catherine Darby, who comes from Flagler County. Enjoy. Hi, I'm glad that you joined us today. I hope you have a lot of fun with the art project we're about to do. It's called Painting with Dots. And you can see some examples on my, well, I guess your left. And we're going to try to recreate some really fun shapes today. The first thing that I like to do, because I can get a little messy, is to protect my work surface. For that, I'm going to just use plain old newspaper, or you could put down copy paper, or magazines, or an old towel, or anything that'll keep our paint off your work surface. So now that I have that done, the next thing I'm going to do is take one of my white pieces of paper, because that's what we're going to be doing our painting on, and I'm going to actually tape it down to the newspaper. And I'm doing that so that when I'm doing my dotting, it doesn't pull up and make streaks. This is one of the important parts about taping. You can use masking tape or painter's tape, but I'm using scotch tape. What I want you to do is get a small piece and roll it in a circle and push it together and then attach that to whatever you're taping down. And the reason that we're doing rolls is because when we're dotting, we don't want to have tape marks on our artwork. So I'm just going to do the four corners of my white paper and just push them a little bit. They don't have to be really strong and I might just put one in the middle of the bottom. I just want enough tape to hold it still. Okay, if you have trouble with this, just get a friend or a parent or someone to roll your tape for you and get your paper positioned. Now ready for the fun part. If you have colored paper, I want you to get that now. And if you don't, you can actually just cut up a piece of the newspaper or you can use white paper and color on it. The idea is you want to be able to see the edges when we put it on the white. So if you use plain white paper, it's going to be a little bit tough to see when we start doing the dotting. You can but it's easier if you use a color or a pattern. You could use some gift wrap if you have some, or again, a page from a magazine or a newspaper. I just like plain old paper. You want to fold it in half, hamburger fold, not the long hot dog fold. Make sure you pull a nice edge on it. And the shape that we're going to do today is a heart because it's fun and everybody has one, and they're easy to do. I like to have a pattern because the next thing we will do is cut out our shape. Be sure you have scissors, and I'm going to take a marker, and you're only going to draw half the heart because we're going to cut it on the fold. You want to make sure that you don't start at the top and you don't make it too big. It has to fit on the white paper. So I'm going to start about a third of the way down, and I'm going to draw just a nice, easy curve, and I'm going to stop before I get to the bottom. Everybody able to see that? Nice and easy. And again, if you need someone to help you draw it, maybe hold your hand as you draw to smooth out your shape, or get someone else to do this, that's fine. This is not the art part. Next, you'll need your scissors. 
If you have a hard time holding scissors, again, you can get someone to help you or you can use whatever special scissors you have that make it easy. And I'm going to start I think I'll do it this way to make sure. I'm going to start right where I drew the top part and I'm going to cut right along that curve that I drew. And I'm going to go making sure again that I don't cut all the way to the bottom of the paper. Okay, and there we go. Now I have a tadpole, but if I open it up, I have a beautiful heart. And that's what we're going to use to paint with dots today. Just like we taped the paper down, I want you to get two or three little rolls of tape, whatever kind you have. And I want you to make sure that the heart is where you want it on the paper and that it doesn't move once you tape it. I use three. And the reason I use three is if I want both of the top curves not to move. And I also want the point at the bottom to stay still. Okay. How are we doing? Everybody got your heart cut out and taped? Okay. Let me get my last roll on there. Now for the fun. This is where we do the dots. You can use lots of things to dot. I'm going to use a Q-tip to start with. But if this is hard for you to hold, you can also use a potato for big dots. Or I'm going to cut this carefully because I want a nice straight edge, but you can also use tips, which are very easy to hold. You can also use for your paint, if you have tempera, which is what I'm using today, you can do that. And when we're finished with this, I'll, I'll show you how to make, well, let me show you now, because if you have tempera, you want to be dotting with us. If you're making paint, you just need some food coloring, the little boxes of food coloring you may or may not have in your pantry. There's regular and there's neon, so you can do some fun colors. And to make your paint, you want to put three drops in a little cup or an egg carton or whatever you might have to hold your paint. Three drops. One, two, three. That's all you need, really. And then to mix your color, you want to get a teaspoon. And it can be a teaspoon that you have in your drawer. It doesn't have to be a measuring spoon because this is not that exact. And you want to take a spoonful of water and put it right in with the paint. That's all there is to it. Food coloring and water. And you can make as many colors as you want. Remember, if you put red and blue in the same cup, it'll be purple. If you put red and yellow, it will be green. And if you put blue and yellow, no, blue and yellow will be green. Red and blue will be purple. Red and yellow will be orange. Okay, then. I'm going to save this for later because we're going to try something different. And I'm going to go ahead and use my tempera paint. And I'm going to start with a Q-tip. My hint for this is start with your lightest color paint. So for me, I'm going to start right here in my yellow. And then you just dot. You can dot fast. You can dot slow. You want to make sure that you get lots and lots and lots of your bright color paint on there. Because that's going to be your background and it will make it pretty. You also have to remember when you're dotting, don't go in the middle of your heart but you do want to go right up to the edge. And I'm doing mine randomly so that I don't have all my color in the same spot. I'm going over my whole paper. And you can dot with that. I'm also going to show you how to dot with the carrot because it'll make bigger dots. And right now I'm going to stay with the same color. Put it in your paint or in your homemade paint and just do dots. Okay? 
these, there's no wrong way to do this. You can do as many as you want or as few as you want. Just make sure you get some good dots on there. Okay, I'm going to put my carrot back down. The potato would work too. You do the same thing, put it in the paint and dot. It'll, of course, make bigger dots. So I'm going to change colors. Because I use the lightest color, I can use the same Q-tip. And I'm going to go into my next lightest color, which is kind of a teal, and do the same thing. You can go on top of your old dots. You can go next to them, fill in the holes. You can put as many as you want. Be sure when you're dotting that you go right up to the edge of your heart shape. And I'll show you why in a minute. I'm going to try to do this a little faster. But you can take your time at home because there's no hurry. I just want to be sure that you see all the things we can do with the dot painting in the time that you're with me today. So I'm going to go a little bit faster here. Go back to your paint fairly often. It'll mix your colors. And if you notice, when I put the teal on top of the yellow, it kind of makes a greenish. But I want to go right up to the edge of my heart. And I want to make sure, as an artist, I know that you have to have colors all the way through. Okay, I'm going to change colors again. I'm going to go to my blue. And I'm going to use the same Q-tip, and I'm going to dot really fast. Okay, keep going. You can sing a song while you're dotting. And again, you can have someone hold your hand and help you dot if you need to. Or you can use different things. You could even use a round brush if you have one to do your dots. But there we go. I'm making sure I get all my colors. And now I'm looking at my edges of the heart to make sure that I've got dots all the way around that. My next color is a dark green. I'm going to go right to it. And I'm going to fill in the holes before I go anywhere else on my heart. Oops, wrong color to make sure that I get a nice outline, and I'll show you why in a minute. Okay, put some more green out here so they don't feel lonely. And some green down here. And I'm going to go to my last color. This is red. And I'm going to take my red, and I'm going to fill in first any holes I see on the edges of my heart. Notice that I am stamping a little bit onto the heart, but I'm not going out here in the middle. That's a good thing. Okay, looks like I've got all the edges done. So now I'm going to go out and just have some fun. Mix that red in with the other colors. If you have a favorite color, you can, of course, use that the most because that's the whole point of having a favorite color. And if you put your red on top of the yellow, you might get a little color of orange in there. If you put it on top of the blue, you might see some purples. Or you can mix your colors to get that. Okay. That looks like it's pretty well dotted. Let me get some here at the top and up in that corner. And we are good to go. The next thing you're going to have to do with this is let it dry a little bit. But I didn't want you to have to wait for that. So I'm going to take one of the ones I did earlier. I'm just going to move my whole paper over here. I'm going to take the flower. And the reason you taped it down is so that it's easy to pull off. This is where it gets magic. Pull up very carefully. You don't want to rip your white paper, but lift up your colors. Sometimes the paint will make stick a little bit. You can just peel that up. And you'll see as I'm pulling these up that I'm starting to get a flower, right? And all of those dots are just the background. I'll put this on my trash pile. Two more petals to go. And ta-da, I now have a flower with my dots around as a background. 
what you can do now if you want to with your heart or whatever shape you make is take your crayons or markers and decorate it. For the heart, you could put a message in it or a pattern in it or just color it in, whatever you want to do. And I wanted to show you what the homemade paint looked like. Pull this off of here. Because this one has a really cool part. If you did the homemade paint, you do the same thing. You pull off your shape and notice that this is a lot softer colors than the tempera paint. But here's the cool thing about using your homemade watercolors. Not only can you do this side, but it shows through. So you could make a two-sided shape, in this case a butterfly, with just one set of dots. And you do your dots the same way. You dip it in the paint. I'm going to get a clean Q-tip. You dip it in the paint. And I'm just going to mix it right in here with these. Or I'll flip this back over and I'll put some fresh dots here. I've already pulled the shape off. You can also, if you want to, because we all have good imaginations, right? I'm going to use some of my green, and I'm going to draw some shapes in there. And I can outline my butterfly. my friends. I think that's all the time we have for today. I hope you had a lot of fun with the painting with dots. There's lots of things you can do with it. You could make rocket ships or animals or shapes and you can color it in or not. And I also hope that you send us pictures of your amazing creations. Upload them to Arts for All Florida. And that's Arts number four, all Florida. Thanks again for being with us today, and I hope we see you sometime soon. Bye for now.